whatever you want to say about the UAW, whatever you want to say about the Teamsters, whatever you want to say about any of these other unions, there is at least a certain amount of democratic oversight. A couple of weeks ago, we talked about the World Socialist website. Um, and since then, our friend Connor Lewis did a little bit of digging, and they f- and, and, and he found some interesting stuff. Um, not necessarily, you know, a completely damning thing if, if you're picking up what they're putting down, if you're buying what they're trying to sell, you know. Uh, but, but definitely some things to keep in mind, uh, people that find themselves sympathetic to the World Socialist website. Um, particularly, these are things that, that I think are particularly instructive when you want to figure out the um, the good faithedness of their criticisms of unions with respect to democracy and democratic processes and membership participation. Um so here's the first set of those tweets uh, from from Connor Lewis, and he says, uh, "I'll read the tweets for the people uh, that are just listening on the podcast." Well, their stuff might be harder to dig up, but the World Socialist website is a constellation of for-profit companies, bottom lined by David Green, aka David North, and Eric Lee, aka Eric London. Two keys: uh, WSWS.org Inc. And Maring Books Incorporated, both incorporated in Michigan. The common officers on all of these are David Green, the president, Eric Lee, the secretary, and Joseph Tanneru, the treasurer. So, the first, the this is the, the a big thing, and and this is something that I I have I have heard for a while, but I hadn't um I hadn't been able to like actually uh, i hadn't seen the proof of it and so i hadn't said it but but the world socialist website the socialist equality party and some entity called Maring are all for-profit companies and they are all headed by the same uh, pseudonymous people uh he substantiates that with screenshots and later tweets um of those documents that's not been challenged by any of the folks named here even though they did some attacks of their own later against connor um, and I'm sure the attacks against us are, are coming as soon as this. Oh yeah, well they did drops. a few attacks. Well they they basically retread. Uh, they didn't have anything else to say about me, so they just retread the articles that they wrote about me last year. <laughs> so nothing new or interesting there. Um, so next, Connor elaborates on that, um, saying that showing that actually the Socialist Equality Party is not even a separate entity. It's not even a set its own for-profit entity. Um, it is a it is a na- another name for the World Socialist website. In the tweet he says, "No, the Socialist Equality Party is actually the for-profit corporation WSWS. It's an assumed name for WSWS, which again is a shareholder-based for-profit corporation. It is not a non-profit or a PAC. Uh, so that's pretty wild. Um, and then in the next tweet, he says, according to their articles of, corpor- of incorporation, WSWS and the Social Equality Party are run by shareholder meetings. Not members, shareholders. In a company or an organization's articles of incorporation, you 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 have to say how it's going to be run. How how are you going to be accountable to your shareholders, or in the case of a union, to your members? You've got to lay out the framework. Well, in the articles of incorporation for the for-profit company, the World Socialist website and the Socialist Equality Party, it says that the organization is run by shareholders, not by members. And that's a pretty wild thing, right? If you're going to criticize the UAW for not being responsive enough to its members, but you're not even run by your members? You're run by shareholders? That's interesting. That's pretty wild. And then in the next tweet, uh, he 
Connor talks about David North. Uh, he says, let's get into David Green, David North, uh, the retired CEO of a multi-million dollar printing company. He founded Grand River Printing, according to a corporate history published in 2000, uh, and gave some founding principles about, I don't know, good things, uh, <laughs> presumably. And not only that... But said company did lucrative business with Chrysler. That's very interesting, which is one of the big three automakers that the UAW bargains against. The same UAW, the same United Auto Workers that the World Socialist website is constantly attacking. That is pretty curious. And so, you know, the last thing in, in that is, so to sum, the Socialist Equality Party does not exist. It's a registered fictitious name fronting for a for-profit corporation and another associated for-profit corporation. The officers are the same on both of them, and all of them use pseudonyms, and the president is a retired CEO of a multi-million dollar corporation. Uh, that's not great, I would say. And, you know, I mean, look, if you want to run your media organization on a for-profit basis, I think that's that's fine. That's not, you know, just being a for-profit corporation as a media institution, you know, maybe it's fine, maybe it's not. I think that as a media institution, as a socialist media institution, you would want to run it on a, on a non-profit basis. Uh, you would want to run it cooperatively, presumably, you know, um, but for a party, you would definitely want, want that to be run by the members. Um, and so it's pretty inconsistent, it's incongruent that this organization that is always pummeling unions, trying to pummel unions for anti-democratic tendencies, some, you know, some cr critiques of which we share, right? Like there, th we have talked about on the show about anti-democratic tendencies in some unions and the need to reform them and uh, the need for unions to be re more responsive to their members. But the Socialist Equality Party, the World Socialist website, is explicitly an undemocratic and capitalist institution. That's pretty wild. Like, there's nothing holding them to their members. It's just these three guys deciding what's going to happen. And whatever you want to say about the UAW, whatever you want to say about the Teamsters, whatever you want to say about any, any of these other unions, there is at least a certain amount of... Democratic oversight. There is a certain amount of say, and that is evident in the fact that there are successful reform movements in these organizations. There are uh, uh, instances of success and instances of more membership accountability. You know, if I was living in a glass house, I would be hesitant to throw stones is basically what I'm saying. Um, and then this last tweet is is more of a throwaway of, <laughs> where Connor, Connor is responding to a critique that he got from a fan of the Socialist Equality Party that says small businesses are essentially cooperatives versus unions, which are worth hundreds of millions who regularly take corporate bribes and have leaders go to prison. Um, and again... This is something, interestingly, that we got a take exactly like this from a right-winger in our comment section a while back saying that small businesses are basically cooperatives. Uh, and that's not true. <laughs> that is not true. Uh, and so Connor says, Vanguard Party, nah, let's do small business socialism. That's not for me. Hey, if if they do happen to run it as a cooperative and it's not listed on their documents, then, hey, good for them. Um, I just I, I really just don't like the way they go about politics. Um, it's not so much the substance. It's the style, I guess, more than anything, um, because I. 
I think it's seems to me from the outside they spend more time like scouring the internet looking for critics of themselves hmm. or just going off on really bizarre uh, tangents and you know talking about Harvey Weinstein and uh, those types it just I don't know it something about them really rubs me the wrong way um, and as I mentioned I think when we had Connor on the show it's not unusual for me to, to read one of their articles and agree with about 90% of it until you get to a section that's just totally off the wall yeah um, Young lefties beware. Yeah, I mean, if look, if there are members of that organization or supporters of that organization that are doing good work out in the community that are building working class power, by all means, good for you. Uh, hope, I hope we're all pulling in the same direction. Yeah. I'm someone who's been willing to work with very diverse types of people across ideological lines, uh, whether they are various strains of Marxist or anarchist or just traditional liberals and, and Democrats. I've even worked with conservatives right. uh, on various issues. If, if it meant that I didn't have to sacrifice my principles and we were ultimately doing a good thing mm -hmm. for regular working class people. Um, and so that would apply here. You know, yeah. if, if you're a member of that organization and you're doing things I agree with, then cool. Uh, but I don't like that they have just made up shit, uh, like about you specifically, which, again, that calls into question a whole lot of their coverage. I've seen some of what they... I know that they have put some false information out there. Right. Um, and... I just am really suspicious of their tactics, um, and yeah, I'll, I'll leave it at that. You just saw a clip from the Valley Labor Report. We are live every Saturday morning from 9.30 a.m. till 12.30 p.m., and we pride ourselves on keeping all of our content free to everybody so that we can talk to as many working folks as possible. If you support the work that we're doing, you think that it's important, you think that it's good, then consider making a monthly contribution to the project, and you can do that on our website, tvlr.fm.